Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Abdul Sattar Malik from the Department of Electrical Engineering, Bahad Nizikbaik University, Multan. Welcome back to the series of lectures about combinational circuits of digital logic and design. In this part, we will discuss some other case studies of combinational circuits that include binary multipliers and magnitude comparators. Uh, during the previous lecture, we designed a circuit that has had the capability to, to add two and bit numbers and then we extended it to a circuit that can subtract two and bit numbers and then we have yet, a, yet another modification in which uh, we modified that circuit to add uh, two BCD numbers. So it means uh, in the previous lecture we actually have had the capability to perform addition or subtraction of two numbers. During the arithmetic and logic operations, we also need to perform the multiplication of numbers as well. So in this slide, initially we will see the concept of multiplication of two numbers and then we will extend our algorithm. So the multiplication is performed in the same way as multiplication of decimal numbers. So uh, how we, we actually do that, we actually uh, initially determine the partial products through AND operations. For example, in case of two 2-bit two numbers, the result of multi multiplication will consist of 4 bits. For example, we have a number A with 2 bits, A0 and A1, and we have yet another number B with 2 bits, B0 and B1. In order to perform the multiplication of these two numbers, initially we have to multiply this A0 with B0 and B1 and the partial products are A0, B0 and A0, B1. And then we have to shift and we have to multiply A1 with B0 and B1. So here we have performed the shifting and then we have multiplied A1 with B0 and A1 with B1. And after that, we will simply add these partial products so in this particular case this a naught b naught will be coming directly over here in order to add these two bits we can simply use a half header and if there is a carry over here then that carry along with a1 b1 uh, we can again use a half header and we will have a four bit product of the two two bit numbers so as far as the circuitry is concerned it is very simple in this circuit, you can see that we have performed the partial product A0 with B0 and B1. And similarly, we have performed the partial product of A1 with B0 and B1. And then this A0, B0 partial product is coming directly as C0. And this A0, B1 uh, partial product along with A1, B0 partial product, two bits are going to a half header and the sum bit will be coming down as C1 and the carry bit will be going to the next half header and this bit along with the result of A1, B1 partial product will be going to yet another half header and we will have the sum and the carry as C2 and C3. So this using this combinational circuitry, we can simply perform the multiplication of two two bit numbers and we will have the four bit product. In order to extend our knowledge, a combinational circuit with uh, a binary multiplier with more bits can be constructed in a similar fashion. A number A bit of multipliers is ended with each bit of the multiplicand B in as many levels as there are bits in the multiplier. The binary output in each level of AND gates is added with the partial product of the previous level to form the new partial uh, product. The last level produces the product. Now, for J multiplier bits and K multiplicand bits, we need J multiplied by K AND gates, J minus 1 times K uh, sorry, J minus 1 K bit adders to produce a product of J plus K bits. It means, for example, if we have 
a 4 bit multiplier and a 4 bit multiplicand then we need 16 AND gates 3 uh, 4 bit adders and we will have an 8 bit product as a second example consider a multiplier circuit that multiplies a binary number represented by 4 bits by a binary number that is represented by 3 bits so, so we will be taking an example in which we will have uh, a multiplier of 4 bits and a multiplicand of 3 bits so let the multiplicand be represented by the number b and the bits are b0 b1 b2 and b3 and the multiply, multiplier is a with, multi, with the bits a0 a1 a2 and a3 since k is equal to 4 and j is equal to 3 so we need 12 AND gates and two 4 bit adders to produce a product of 7 bits following is the logic diagram of a 4 bit by 3 bit binary multiplier so it is a circuit that will accept a 4 bit multiplicand and a 3 bit multiplier and it will give us a 7 bit multiplication result so this is the circuit and let us uh, go into a bit of details of this particular circuit so for this particular purpose we simply perform the multiplication as let's suppose we have a number b with the bits b0 b1 b2 and b3 and we have yet another number a with uh, the bits uh, a0 a1 a2 and we want to get the product of the uh, four bit multiplicand with the three bit multiplier a so in order to proceed with that initially we will have the partial product of a0 with all the bits of b number and that is a0 b0 a0 b1 a0 b2 and a0 b3 and if we can see this in this particular diagram this partial product aspect has been implemented with the help of AND gates the a0 has been ended with all the bits of b and we will be having the outputs of all these will be giving us these partial products then we will end a1 with all the bits of b and we will have a1 b0 a1 b1 a1 b2 and a1 b3 so this particular circuit will be carrying out that particular product so at this stage what we will do we will perform the addition because we already know that in case of a parallel binary adder we have to parallel binary adder has the capability to add two numbers at a time so what we will do we will perform the addition at this particular stage so if we take this point at this level a0 b0 will be going directly to the multiplication result and then the three bits of this partial product along with the most significant zero and the four bits of this partial product will be going to a parallel binary adder over here this is the most significant zero that we have added and we will have a five bit result now this five bit result the least significant bit will be going directly as the multiplication result and the next four bits will be uh, going to the next parallel binary address stage let me elaborate it in the next part so after that we will perform the multiplication of a2 the partial product of a2 with the, uh, the, num the number b multiplicand b and we will have a2 b naught a2 b1 and so on a to b3 so up till now we have already taken these two bits and then what we will do the sum result of the previous stage four bit result along with these four bits will be going to yet another uh, parallel binary adder over here so we have taken these four bits the sum from the previous parallel binary adder and the four bits that are coming over here we will we will add these two bits and we will have a five bit we will have a 5 bit sum over here and these 5 bits along with the previous C0 and C1 bits will give us the complete product of the 4 bit multiplicand with the 3 bit multiplicand. If let's suppose A, the digit A has the third bit as well. So in the next stage what we would have done, we have taken yet another uh, partial product and 
now one bit going down and the next four bit of this stage will be going to the product of this and obviously it can be extended for as many bits as possible here is the product result and that is what we have uh, got so this was one of the algorithms for the multiplication there are a lot of multiplier circuits that has been presented for high speed applications in so many uh, literature books next let's discuss the magnitude comparator a magnitude comparator compares two numbers a and b and it determines the relationship between their relative magnitude there are three possibilities of the comparison result the first possibility is whether a is greater than b the second possibility is whether a is uh, equal to b and the third possibility is whether a is less than b so these are the three possible comparison results so in so many applications we need to compare the numbers rather than uh, we have to perform the arithmetic operation and then we check the results in so many applications we simply need the comparison results design approaches we can have two different design approaches during the first approach either we should have a truth table for two n bit number for comparison and this classical approach will have a truth table having 2 raised to the power 2 n entries and obviously three outputs for example if we want to compare two four bit numbers then the table will have 256 rows uh, of the input variables eight, eight variables and there will be three outputs this will be true comparison for large value of n the second approach is to use the inherent reg regularity of the problem and that is called the algorithm approach the similar to the one that we use for the parallel binary adder so what is an algorithm it is a procedure which specifies a finite set of steps obviously it redu reduces the design efforts and it reduces the human errors so suppose we have two four bit numbers the first number a with the bits a0 a1 a2 and a3 and the second number b with bits b0 b1 b2 and b3 a and b will be equal only if the most significant bit of a and the most significant bit of b and going on all the corresponding bits of a and b are equal if all the uh, corresponding bits are equal only then the number a will be equal to the number b so the equality of each pair of bits can be expressed with an exclusive nor gate function as we define a variable xi which is equal to ai bi plus ai complement bi complement this is actually the exclusive nor of a and b for each i is equal to 0 1 up to 3 xi will be equal to 1 only if the pair of bits in position i are equal either both are 0 or both are equal to 1 for equality to to exist or in order to ensure that the number a is equal to number b all xi variables must be equal to 1 that is if i want to ensure that a is equal to b then the and combination of x0 x1 x2 and x3 should be equal to 1 where x0 is equal to a0 b0 plus a0 complement b0 complement and so and so forth to determine whether a is greater than b or a is less than b we start from the most significant bit if the most significant bit of a is 1 and that of b is 0 then definitely the number a is greater than b if the most significant bit of b is 1 and a is 0 then the number b will be greater than a if these two if the most significant bits of both the numbers are same either both are 0 or both are 1 then we have to check the next position so the algo is if the two bits are equal then compare the next lower significant pair of bits until a pair of unequal bits is reached if the corresponding bit of a is 1 and that of b is 0 at any stage we conclude that a is greater than b 
or if the corresponding bit digit of a is 0 and that of b is 1 then we have b is greater than a or a is less than b the sequential comparison can be expressed by two boolean functions so we can have two simple boolean functions and the boolean function for a greater than b is a3 b3 complement this result will be one only if a3 is 1 and b3 is 0 if this is not 1 for all the three other three possible combinations this result will be equal to 0 if a if that, that is not valid then still a can be greater than b only if a2 is 1 and b2 is 0 along with the surety that the previous bit position x3 means a3 b3 both were equal either both were 0 or, or both were equal to 1 if this result even doesn't provide then still there is a possibility that a can be greater than b only if x3 is 1 x2 is 1 ensuring that these corresponding bits are equal either both are 0 or both are 1 or whatsoever the combination is still a can be greater than b only if a1 is 1 and b1 is 0 if this doesn't provide the result still there is a possibility that a can be greater than uh, 1 if x3 x2 x1 all are equal to 1 ensuring that these corresponding bits are equal and then still a can be greater than b only if a0 is 1 and b0 is 0 on the other hand a will be less than b one can very, very easily see that this algo will be opposite to the, that one the above one so a will be less than b means b is greater than a this can be ensured by the first possibility is b3 is 1 and a3 is 0 and then in that case a, a will be less than b or if this is not the scenario then if the most significant bits are same then if b2 is 1 and a2 is 0 still a b can be greater than a and so on and so forth here is the logic diagram so during this three stage implementation the not gates and the hand and then the nor gates we are actually producing the x i's x0 x1 x2 and x3 so in the first case all these x i's are going to an end gate so if all these x i's are equal to 1 then it will mean that a is equal to b otherwise we can we can see over here that for example over here we are having an x3 and we are having if we are having yet another combination over here that is going to an OR gate so all these algos will actually be implementing uh, we have seen that a uh, 3 b 3 complement plus x 3 a 2 b 2 complement so we are we are just getting all this from these uh, two level implementation and then the x2 x3 x1 are going into an or gate and this will ensure uh, the checking of whether a is greater than b a is less than b or a is greater than b so if we we have we have impl implemented this circuitry in which we have two four bit numbers and it can be extended for 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit in which we can have either this output will be equal to 1 or this output will be equal to 1 or this output will be equal to 1 if this output will be equal to 1 it will ensure that the two numbers are equal if this output 1 is it means that the number a is greater than b and if this output is 1 it means the number a is less than the number b or b is greater than the number a